presented by Kia Casey Stern, Steve Smith, Grant Hill. Congrats to Coach Stotts, 400 wins. And how about Dame? Ten threes, but in the biggest spot of the game, up one. Doesn't settle for a three, goes in, hits a big two. At the time, he, he knew not to push it, even though he had that shooter's touches he just talked about all night. Yeah, and what I love is uh, he was 10 for 15, efficient. And like you said, understanding the game, understanding it's not about him. He's always going to have big numbers. He has that type of talent. But able to make plays, winning plays, and he did down on stretch. You can see he's always had that type of talent. But right now, he's understanding how he can put his imprint on the game and have winning plays right now. I love the way he's playing. Doesn't get enough recognition. Unfortunately, don't get a chance to see him a lot in Portland, but he's one of the top players in this league. Night in and night out for the last two or three seasons. You know, Grant, they've had two players in the backcourt together now for years that we've seen it with CJ, too. At given times, they could take over a quarter, take over a game. How about the fact you're down eight to Orlando at home? You know you got to win this game. That Dame says, you know what, as the guy, the star, the leader of this team, i got to put it on as a great second half helps him to a win. Well, and that's what you want from your from your best player, from your star player. And, and, and this is what Lillard has been doing really since since the time he arrived in the league as a rookie. And uh, his confidence, his uh, his shot-making ability, obviously tonight he got it going from downtown. He is a guy, there's, there's a handful of guys in the league that can, that can get hot and carry a team. And, and certainly he is one of those guys. He's in that elite category. Uh, as Smitty said, you know, I, I think because he's so far out there, we don't, we on the on the East Coast don't really see and appreciate what he's capable of doing. But tonight was was just sort of you know textbook Dame Lillard, and to have that weapon, to have that guy at home against an Orlando you know, Magic team that was very you know very capable, uh, certainly came in confident, felt like they could win. Um, you know, good offense always trumps good defense, and, and great players playing good offense, it's, it's hard to stop. And when Lillard gets going, it's hard. You guys know this, teams that lose, sometimes you find ways to lose. Magic played really well most of this game. Isaac gets into a spot he's not used to with Amino on him in the post, makes a mistake. Fournier, who was real hot and brilliant, tries to make one too many passes, turnover that leads to a bucket. How do you kind of turn that around? If you're sitting there, you're the Magic, you're on a team like that, Smitty. How do you turn that tide to where you're able to win games like this, where they were in it close in the fourth? Well, I think that's where the system coaches and the coaches uh, film work. When you're a young guy, you know, you're not in a lot of uh, situations. You haven't been in these like a lot of these situations. So you have to do a lot of film work. You got to have a lot of co uh, communication with your coaching staff, with your players. And I think that's where young teams, they have a hard time. You know, they let this go. They go home. They talk to their friends. They talk to everybody else. But you got to talk to your teammates. And that's what veterans do. That's what winning teams do. And Orlando's turned the corner. They're not all the way there. They still have some inexperience, but I like the way they're playing. They're playing hard, and they, they're in games this year. A little more magic than they've had in the past, but still a lot of learning to do.